Right, recording. Right, so me and Emily having a... Well, we've only done... Uh, how many miles? 80 miles, and I've got a bit of a disagreement at the moment, so basically... She keeps going on. It gets bored about boundaries. I, right? I mean, she sets his boundaries to me, and I, 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 and I haven't set any boundaries to her yet. I'm trying to think of something. So basically, what we were saying was, I didn't. I don't think I. Right, well, you can have your word in a minute, Emily. Yeah. So yeah. Don't come on permanent send yet. Yeah? yeah. So basically, she was at this place working, and she had a break, and then I came down after about four hours later because I was staying on the site there while she was doing this job. So. I'd gone down there just to give her a banana and... Was it a flapjack? Yeah. Banana flapjack. That's how kind I am. Yeah. So the bloke gave me a paper bag with some sandwiches and a drink to give to Emily. But when he gave me that when he gave me that bag, I knew that she wasn't going to get a break. I knew that that, that was... She ain't going nowhere for the last... How many hours was it that you had left? Uh, oh god, well, we didn't have another break for another six we, hours without anything, and so then then it was uh, another three after that. So yeah. she was you was due a break, wasn't you? Yeah, I was due a break. Yeah. So I, so me being me trying to fucking help, yeah, but I, I know now not to, so she can get to fuck from now on, which she probably doesn't mind to be honest with you. <laughs> I can't believe I'm fucking agreeing with the company. There you go. So I'd gone to the bloke. I said, um, oh. I said Emily's due a break. Right. Whether she was going to say this to the bloke, I do not know because she said she was, and I, I don't believe she was. But we could argue about this till the fucking cows come home. So I said, to him, "Is there any chance of Emily having a break? Because she hasn't had a break for six hours." And I, and I said, "You know, you're giving her that because because Emily's professional. You wouldn't have had that there, would you? Definitely not. But that's what they not want. Parking cars. No, no, but that's what they wanted though. But because Emily's professional, she wouldn't have had it because." It's not good fucking eating the sandwiches well, because you'd never get to eat, would you, really? It's no different to being on your telephone when you're at work, if yes. you're eating. Yes. And they always state you can't be in your uniform when you're eating and drinking or smoking or on your telephone. So we stay when I've gone in. She's got her legs out there. Ooh, she's, look at her. Oh, look at her leg. Ooh. So, yeah, so basically. Is that gone clat? has gone. So you've basically, white, what happened. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. You've got your fucking dirty fucking fingers. Oh. So basically what happened was um, I was working and it went from 9 till 12 without a break. Then we had Oops, a, sorry. A, we had a <laughs> uh, meal on site, but it took 20 minutes to walk to the cafeteria, 20 minutes to eat, and then 20 minutes to get back. And we were parking cars for clients. And uh, and then it was from 1, I think it's 1 or one thirty, wasn't it, until about 6. Well, it was 6 hours that you didn't have a break for. 6 hours didn't have a break for. Anyway, um, I was making my way up. Oh, I also so got all the other guys, did I? I also got all the other oh, guys. Oh, she's bossing every cunt about. I wasn't, it wasn't, you was fucking loving it. It wasn't bossy, right? Because she no. can't boss me about, right? So no, she goes and bosses no, everyone else no, around, no, see? No, yes, no, yeah, no. I know. Well, fucking, it was, right? Well, I got yeah. your number. Can I speak, please? You've just spoken. Just one moment, please. Can I just finish what I was saying? Right, permanent send. So, basically what happened was there was these other guys working with me, and they were just on their phones, standing around, chatting. And um, and I was like talking to all the people coming through in their cars, like going, if you go over there, you need to walk, if you go there, da, 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 da. Anyway, giving all these directions and instructions to the people right, coming into to... the holiday park. And what happened yep. was, um, what happened was- uh, She's speaking. <laughs> I'm, I'm speaking, but I'm pointing you at Jonah because he's now. driving. Um, but basically what happened was uh, these guys then saw I was having fun and the time was going quicker. So then they started doing what I was doing. But then it got to a point where this one of these guys, he was stopping every single car and going, hello, welcome to the site. If you need to do, do, do it's over there. If you need to do, and he wasn't letting all the cars through. Can I interrupt quick? These weren't English people. They were like. It, it, they, they were foreign. They were foreign. They, they yeah. were foreign, yeah. And um, yeah, and basically, and then they were stopping all, like one car every time, and I was going, no, let them come through, let them come through. Um, but it was all backing up Bossy onto the road, cow. wasn't it? No, it was to get no, the no, cars she, off no, the No, she was, she was doing well, to be honest with you. Anyway, they absolutely loved if it. If I'm gonna have to big her up, I don't like big her up, <laughs> but you know, credit where credit's due. They did absolutely love it, and they did realize that once they were actually motivated and enjoying what they were doing, the time did go a lot quicker. 
even though we were all flagging because we were tired and hungry and exhausted because we needed to because it was a 13 hour shift wasn't it Jonah? yeah long fucking day 13 hour shift parking cars um at a, a holiday place so you know, um, it was a christian you've got that phone a bit oh no you've got a bit sorry it's, just got told sorry off. no no not told off i'm not allowed to talk about all right things like that so but anyway 13 hour shift turn it off, you can't. and these guys were <laughs> motivated and they were doing the job then but um yeah jonah i'm grateful that jonah you know fought and he brought the banana and he brought the flapjack and that and i was working but i wouldn't have been able to eat it because i was working so um but basically can you get to the fucking point yeah then, i was making my way up <laughs> to my boss to say excuse me but I've been an event manager on courses and stuff, and we should be having breaks, right? Um, and then he even got exhausted, didn't he? Because he yeah. didn't take a break. But what's she saying? What's she I interrupted. So like, what, I said it for her. Basically. Yeah. So basically, Jonah took it upon himself to Here talk go, to that. my boss. Just trying boss, to help. Just trying right? to help. To talk to my boss, right? And say Emily needs a break, right? <laughs> I can see why he did it because he's concerned. Yeah, I am. But when it comes to your work, right? This is like the library, guys. When it comes to your work, oh, so you had to bring right? the fucking like, yellow card. I return. Right, hang on. You had to bring up the library, hang didn't on. you? Hang on. It's a boundary, right? Sake. It's a boundary. You do not come in to my place of work. That phone's a bit close to me, babe. Sorry. You do not come in to my place of work and then start telling my boss. What he should he, be doing. Because he wasn't going to give you a break. But I was making my way up to the top of the field to speak to my boss to say, I'm taking a break. Right? Okay. All right. What? Yes, I was. Okay. So, um, yeah, so that's the story. So basically, right, if you're with someone, on, Emily, friend, <laughs> colleague, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you said that. Would me. you. I'm glad like you said that. She's learning. Coming to your place of work and interfering with your job, right? And he's just done it again at my client's house. Which one? The client I've just finished. Emily, with. put the phone back, please. He's finished that drink. Oh. No, I haven't finished it. So he's done it again. He just comes in my client's house and goes, hello everyone, you all right? Uh, and I'm sitting there and I'm having a conversation with my client. I saved them not fucking far on a pound. Yeah, but it's not about that. The just, just. A bit of fucking, cheap. um, they bought me cheap whiskey. My client, I wouldn't say that online, Jonah. Be Fuck grateful, so. right? So, anyway, yeah. well, she, so Emily's gonna buy me a I was having a conversation with my client when Jonah walks in and goes, You haven't even said anything about my tattoo, you haven't even said this about this. Where's my hug? Where's it's all this? about me because it's all about fucking Jonah. And I'm in a place of work on a care assignment. And he's fucking throwing his weight around and putting bed covers off my bed because he's having a oh, she child made a, hissy fit. Yeah, I, she made a bed and I fucking pulled it apart. And I was just like, for fuck's sake, this is my place of work. You can't come in and do that because it's unprofessional and it, it it looks bad for me. It looks bad for me. Look at the face telling me I off. I know, right? but it looks bad for me. Look at that that's, face, look. That's my work reputation. Oh, that's sorry. my credibility. <laughs> that's, do you know what I mean? And then... That, that's how people then portray me as a carer in my profession. Oh, well, hang on a minute. Emily's friend's just going to walk in our house, just start talking and why, why haven't you done this? Why haven't you, you haven't noticed my toe. You haven't done this. You haven't asked me this. You haven't asked me that. And I'm like, Jonah, I'm at fucking work. Okay, You're like, in our client's okay, house. Like, like, like. And it's just like, what the uh, fuck are you doing? In, in a posh, I think it's she got not cross all with, about you. I think she got cross with me. Did I did you, was get you cross? cross. I did get cross. And then, and I was going back to the van. She talked to me like a cunt when I helped her out, and I said, and I said to no, myself, no, 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 no. Do you, know you what can. Did? I said, you, know you can have did? that one. In my head, I went, she can have no. that for free. Do you know what he did? So I came out to the van, and I just said, Jonah, please don't get involved in my work. And he knocked the bottles off the front Stuck of the van. Stuck in fucking traffic. He just there. knocked the bottles off like, like a child. He was just hitting the bottles off the front of the van, which were my drinking bottles for my break. And then he went, you can fucking have that one. And I just said, don't get involved in my work. Stormed off like a and fucking I child. stormed off like a child. But fair play, she came out four hours later and we didn't, and we, men we didn't mention... Yeah, you know, and it's fine. Ran to me. Yeah. 
The rains are cold. Yeah. So, and that's what we said a bit like before. We won't drag it out, really, but we just had a little discussion there because I'd seen that um, that little fiery bit in her the other day, and I went, "Fuck! If she talks to me like that again, she's paying for it." And I said, hey, "You can have that for free." So, so boundaries, guys. Boundaries. So yeah, so I'll don't get in. Don't interfere in my you work. I can't help myself, though, can I? No. I don't do it on purpose. No, but... I don't I don't maliciously do it. No, but I'm just saying, don't interfere in my work. Comprende? All right, so nothing. Out. <laughs> Out. 